And silent protests by Marathas are drawing increasingly larger crowds across Maharashtra, forcing politicians to take note of the largely leaderless movement. Marathas who make up a whopping 30% of the Maharashtra vote bank want 16% quota in jobs and education. The silent, largely leaderless protests by Marathas over the last two months, asking for reservation in jobs and education, making an impact, forcing some of the biggest Maratha leaders in the state, cutting across party lines, to walk silently alongside. Rajnitik parties have been able to do the work of the government and the work of the government and the work of the government. That's why the government is going to go to the government. जो अंदर ही अंदर घुट रहे थे, वो आज एक होके बाहर आ रहे। For decades, Maharashtra's powerful Maratha leaders have held on to political power built over the years by controlling everything from cooperatives to educational institutions. And today, though that power is vested in the hands of a few, it has left many feeling completely alienated. Like 40-year-old Arun Kavande, tilling his two and a half acre land like this, as he can't afford a pair of bullocks forcing his son to give up his studies in the city and return home. It's been three years, there's nothing to drink water, and we've had to study what we have to do, and 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 what we have to do. 32-year-old Satish Deshmukh spent five years in vain looking for a job. He finally took a loan of one lakh rupees to buy this auto. I got a job, 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 I got a job. People like these were part of the silent protests in their districts that's gathered momentum largely through social media and WhatsApp groups. Marathas make up over 30% of the state's population. Numbers political parties find it tough to ignore. With Dhananjay Sabre, Sujit Ambekar and Swadesh Malviya in Mumbai, Ketki Angre for NDTV.